uh, there's not much happening on the vlogmas today i am just spending the day at home uh ideally catching up with messages and emails both to do with academia and skatering and private and everything because i've been putting it off for a long time and it has made me kind of want to segue a couple of topics into today's vlogmas i uh I've had a lot, a lot of thoughts about this, like the way we do vlogmas is often about making people feel good, about making people feel festive and in the Christmas spirit and, you know, warming everyone's hearts and homes, right? But there is the flip side of that, is that the whole keeping it real thing kind of falls out the window a little bit. And I have quite frankly had a pretty dark December, if not the entire autumn, and I have struggled to wonder where to fit this in to vlogmas because i feel like the purpose of vlogmas is to make people feel good but at the same time if i would vlogmas makes it look make it look like everything is fine i don't know if i'm doing a service to those who struggle this time of year either with the darker season or simply because something in their lives is difficult and it gives the impression that everyone else is just fine and wonderful and have brilliant lives and I thought at least what I can do is just to say that no, I show the good snippets of every day and I've also actively tried to make every day have something positive in it, both for the content of the videos but also for myself. So I go and see friends and try to catch up with everyone before I go away for the holidays and yeah, I try to make good content as well as good content in my own life so to speak but i do want to say that you know it's not all perfect and if you struggle for whatever reason then you are not alone it's not the case that all of us doing vlogmas are having super happy lives i myself have been feeling rather empty and that's that's not trivial uh feeling empty is kind of the worst um there are reasons and the reasons that I can't get into because it just isn't really fitting here and it involves other people and uh, it's more drama than anyone needs but yeah I don't know where I was going with this I'm trying to say just because things look picture for perfect <laughs> Just because things look picture perfect for everyone doesn't mean that it is. Please don't feel like everyone's got everything and you don't and everyone's happier. And yeah, because in a weird way, I think we maybe feel less alone if we know that other people struggle too, which is bizarre, but that's just our nice little social nature. I think I just bound up for sure. Only problem is, and I knew this when I started it, I just didn't deal with it, is that... The bind of it too, the cast on is too tight and it's a, a bottom up shawl so yeah that I will have to just undo the, the cast on method. I used one I thought was going to be more flexible, turns out it's quite the opposite and I should have known. So I have just a little bit of yarn left to do that. Uh, I think this is just enough that I need to make it a little bit more elastic hopefully. If not I might be in trouble. So yeah, this is my first shawl design. Uh -uh. Very exciting. It is time for me to go to bed. So yeah, that was quite the vlogmas day. Not that entertaining perhaps. Uh, yeah, sometimes when I have a lot of really busy days, I just need one or several days to myself. And luckily, both my flatmates seem to have uh, subconsciously channeled that because none of them were in this Friday. Oh, so now that I'm saying that, I'm sure they're going to come home when I fall asleep and wake me up again. Yay! So I still get asked stuff about Norwegian Christmas traditions and stuff and haven't really commented so much about it yet because there's not really much to say yet. I mean, they're usually the way this works in Norway for the most part, though obviously everyone does things differently is that it starts very slowly with either the first Sunday of Advent or the first of December, whichever comes first. And that is when you start decorating with things such as my uh, Advent lights, the Advent star and the purple Advent candles that 
are you light and you one every Sunday of Advent. And beyond that, I mean, you may put out some subtle lights outside. Maybe put up the Christmas curtains and some tablecloths, things like that. But generally, the Christmas decor most in most families, but everyone does things differently, of course. Uh, it waits until the 23rd. 23rd is the little Christmas Eve and that is when the Christmas decor comes out. I have gone a little bit of that here in my room just because I'm not going to be here on the 23rd. So I thought I'd put up a few things already now. But yeah, 23rd is when Christmas decor and the tree and everything comes out up and that is when things start happening in the home you know then you have christmas eve which is kind of like somewhere between christmas and thanksgiving i sometimes find because it's all about the big dinner it's also kind of centered around things that run on tv it's definitely very closely linked to having family over it's not necessarily inviting just to buy anyone which i think is a shame i think people could often open the doors a bit more but yeah it's very family centered it their gifts are opened on Christmas Eve so for FYI for anyone who wants to tell me that I'm cheating when I'm opening presents on the 24th it is honestly what we do another fun thing is that yes sometimes someone will dress up like Santa it is usually some dad or uncle or something will happen to be in the toilet while Santa came um, Santa doesn't come with reindeer in Norway you may not know that but he doesn't he may just come by foot or by horse. Usually Santa will have a sleigh that has a horse or two. No reindeer. Yeah. The whole reindeer thing, reindeer and Santa thing is either British or American or something. It's definitely not a Norwegian Santa. The other fun thing about this idea of Santa is something we've definitely imported from you know, the more international Christmas traditions. Whereas it's been sort of conflated and mixed with and just mashed together with the more Nordic Nisse. And Nisse is often translated into Gnome, which I'm very much against because a Gnome is Gnome. We already have a word for that. Nisse is different and it's not really an English word for it. Might as well call it Nisse if anyone can pronounce that. I mean, it's the same vowels as Hygge and Lykke. And we all know how well that goes. <laughs> But yeah, this has come from way back the, to the Viking era where people basically believed that there were these mischievous people living in barns and stuff, looking after animals, but also playing pranks at you. And they could actually cause you quite serious hazard if you didn't treat them or the animals right. So you may have to leave them food outside, such as a bowl of porridge, which is something that is still done, both in Norway and Sweden at least. On Christmas Eve you will leave a bowl of rice porridge with cinnamon sugar and butter outside and when it gets eaten you know it's been the Nissa that's eaten it and definitely not a cat or a fox or anything no but yeah these people they were quite small they had red top hats and have since kind of yeah been mashed together with ideas of Santa because Santa has a red top hat and beard and the whole thing so because they just became a thing around this particular holiday and the somewhat visual appearance similarities then that's just become one of the same thing and a lot of newer TV productions will sort of mix them up and the the old fierce Nissa, the barn Nissa is now the same as Santa maybe. Uh, <laughs> there's no uh, obviously factor on these because they are make-believe. Så tenner vi to lys i kveld, to lys for håp og glede. De står og skinner for seg selv, og oss som er til stede. Så tenner vi to lys i kveld, to lys for håp og glede.